Yes, I, I've come. I couldn't wait. I had to see you. Oh, my darling. <coughs> oh, oh, this bloody brambles. Why doesn't someone clear these bloody brambles? Oh, help, help. Oh, don't pull, don't pull. Oh, oh, it's impaled in my leg. He must have hands like asbestos. Oh, oh God. Oh, wake mother. Look at this. Look, I'm scratched right down my leg. Look, look, bleeding. Careful. Deformed for life. It's a death trap, this garden. I've only been here two minutes and I've lost three pints of blood. Oh, uh, Annie. I'm exhausted. Why am I here? Well, I wanted to see you. I was frightened you changed your mind. Yes, yes, I, I know we were supposed to meet at the back of the post office at seven o'clock. I, I got here early. You, you want me to go away for an hour? But where am I supposed to go to? Go and walk around the Abbey. I mean, that's five miles away. I'm not walking five miles just to wander around some ruin with a suitcase. Oh, I see. I see. You don't want me here when Sarah and Red are writing. I see. And then there's Tom. Oh, yes. Tom. Tom! <laughs> ha! How would I like you to say, Ruth? Ha! I wouldn't mind if you said, Ruth? Ha! I do. I say it. Not to her face. How do you know what I say to her face behind your back? Ah, well. Ruth will have got my nose by now. Yeah, I know. Telling all. Uh, you know how it's over between her and I, and that ever since we stayed here last Christmas, something wonderful happened. You and I, Annie, were all that matters, uh, that everything else, uh, that the love between us. Hey, where are you going? To ring her up? All right, right. I, I didn't leave her a note. Promise. Yes. Yes, I, I know she's your sister and you're fond of her. Yes, I, I know I said we'll be terribly adult and it was far better to just go away quietly to a little hotel somewhere and get off our chests and out of our systems. What do you mean I made it sound like a laxative? <laughs> oh, I mustn't forget Tom. Hovering around in the background. The creeping vet. He's better with animals than he is with people. <laughs> well, well, Annie, I, I suppose we'll have, we'll have to start going around on, on all fours then, won't we? <laughs> I'm not being nasty about him. He takes you for granted. Here you are, a beautiful girl, violent. He could marry you tomorrow. He could make you happy. And what does he do? He spends more time with a cat than he does with you. Yes, yes, I know he's a vet. <laughs> V-E-T. Very egocentric. <laughs> He doesn't deserve you. And I do. No, but I'm strangely engaging. <laughs> oh, I stopped off at the village and bought a pair of new pajamas. Yes, in your honor. Right, better than wearing the same ones I do with Ruth. Well, just because I'm unfaithful. No need for the pajamas to be as well. <laughs> 
Would you like to have a look now? A sort of sneak preview. <laughs> oh. You, you want to wait? Yes. That sounds like your mother's bell. She must be awake. I'll see you at seven. Next Tuesday, I'd hate to miss it. 